Fun is back, and a lot has happened in the political world since our last segment on Election Night. Are you getting your dukes up? You ready? Getting excited. Lots to talk about. So we're unspinning the latest headlines for those of you who might maybe haven't seen the segment before. I can't imagine that you haven't, right? <laughs> but just in case, Roger Putnam of Putnam Roby Williamson Communications, Brian Chimming of Midwest Strategy, also vice chair of the state Republican Party, and we're talking politics. We have a second-term president. We have new state. U.S. Senators, we have uh, cabinet shakeups, Republican control of the state legislature. A lot is going on. What do you make of what has happened over the last two months? It's been amazing. I mean, let's start with the obvious stuff. I mean, the, I was in D.C. Uh, for the inauguration. Uh, that was amazing to see the president set the tone for the next four years. I'm sure you just love that, Brian. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> I didn't see you out there at the parties. Uh, you know, and uh, got a chance to see firsthand uh, what a rock star uh, Tammy Baldwin is uh, in the Senate. Um, and by all accounts, Republicans and Democrats, uh, leaving aside some obviously policy issues. But it was really a, a, an amazing and special time. And I think there's a lot of fascinating stuff going on with immigration, gun control. I mean, there's a lot going on out there. Uh, I've been to an inaugural before, although I didn't make this one. And, <laughs> uh, but, but I will say this. I think the second term curse that, that hits all presidents is they want to they wanna make their mark and they want to do it quickly. Look, we saw Barack Obama's inaugural uh, address pretty liberal, frankly more liberal than his campaign was. And uh, for all the folks who uh, think that he got a mandate, he, he ended up winning the election by about two and a half points. So we'll see where he can extend that. He got less votes, less percentage, less in the aggregate of any reelected president since Andrew Jackson. Uh, we'll see how much he can push that out there. And do you see any challenges for Republicans? Oh, I think so. You know, the, the truth of the matter is they're going to be focused on the debt deal, of, of course, here in, in the next couple of months. But the House stayed in Republican control, even with the president's win. And you know what? The president, uh, especially on the Second Amendment issues, can't get the Democrats in the U.S. Senate to come with him. Uh, he's not as popular with any of the Senate Democrats as he is with himself. Well, you know, it's interesting. That's all very, very interesting, except for the fact that now we've got Republicans talking about about immigration uh, reform, we've got uh, Republicans coming along on gun control. So, I mean, if, I'll do respect to Brian and, and saying that there's challenges that the president faces. I think Republicans have actually a bigger challenge by trying to uh, come along with the, the rest of the electorate. I want to hit on state really quickly. We're running out of time. What do you anticipate? We have a budget address coming up soon from the governor. Right. Uh, middle class income tax cut. Uh, get the mining bill done and, and create some jobs up north and frankly around the state and a focus on school choice and in improving education statewide. <laughs> All three things on the governor's to do. You know what's interesting about the mining bill is like we actually, regardless of what turns out, which I assume will pass, it, it, it will, it really will create jobs for all the attorneys who will start challenging it on all levels. That will be the employment act that you will see out of that bill. Okay, guaranteed. Well, we'll have to see if, if Roger hits that one on the head. We want to thank our guys for being here. You guys, we'll see you in two weeks, and we'll see you after the break.